name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Spreadsheets in 30 Minutes, available from spreadsheetsin30minutes.com. And today I'm going to talk about CSV files. And I'll explain what they are and also how you can use them in Excel. So this is a CSV file. CSV stands for Comma Separated Value. And as you can see, this is just a text file. All CSV files are text files. And it, it, it contains data that is separated by a comma. The data can be text or it can be a number. Uh, but it's, there's always a comma in between two different pieces of data. And this may not seem too useful to you. However, if you open it up in Excel, then things start to make sense. So let's go to Excel and see what it looks like. Uh, this is another CSV file. So we're looking at names. And basically what you do is you click on the CSV file in your desktop, uh, select to open it up in Excel, and this is what you'll see. So the data that I just had on the text file, it's been neatly put into these two columns. Uh, a and B, and you can see that the it's arranged in the same way that it was in the text file. So the first two pieces of data in the text file, names.csv, they correspond to the first name and the last name, and then uh, I can sort them, I can format these so they look it looks better, I can even add new data. But what I should always do when I'm finished adding, adding data or formatting it is actually save it as an Excel file, uh, which would be .x XSLX. So let's take another example which is a little bit more complicated and this is a typical situation you go to your bank you're downloading your data and then you're presented with something like this and this looks like a complete mess there's some weird things happening here where there's uh, just two uh, two quotation marks um, it's very confusing to see it's practically unusable in something like a text file but when you open it up in Excel then it starts to make sense. And here's what the same file looks like in Excel. So it's it based, Excel very neatly organized it for me. They put the headers on everything. And then you'll see that there's some blank cells here. That's what, that's what, th those were the double quotation marks. Uh, also, if you want to bring in a, a CSV file into an existing cell, you can do that, an existing spreadsheet. You just go, uh, click the cell where you want to place it. Then you go to Data. Uh, get external data, import text file, and then you'll select, you'll find the CSV file on your desktop and import it. So, Ian Lamont, author of Spreadsheets in 30 Minutes. I have lots of other tips and tricks of how to use Excel, and you can find more information, more videos on spreadsheetsin30minutes.com. Thanks for your time.